I don't know why exactly, but every time I saw the poster for Christmas at Cartwrights, I just thought, I want to see this. And I finally got around to watching it. And as far as Hallmark films go, it was quite different to a lot of the, the things that they put out. But I will say that it wasn't perfect. And I think there's a reason for that. Uh, and I will talk a bit about that in more detail towards the end of this because I don't want to spoil it, because I do recommend the film. But I'll just say that it incorporated a bit into the narrative that, you know, they're clearly trying to create this kind of Christmas magic aspect, literal magic. But I felt like it was unnecessary. It wasn't explored enough to be interesting. But it was explored enough that it just, I felt like, got in the way. But to make a long story short, this film was released... In 2014, directed by Graham Campbell, written by Margaret Oberman, and stars Alicia Witt as Nikki Talbot and TJ McGibbon as her daughter Becky. And Nikki is a single mother, not got a lot of money in the house, so she needs to try and find a job over Christmas. And one thing leads to another, and she ends up becoming the Cartwright's department store Santa Claus. And... That in itself could have been really interesting, but I don't think they played that right. I think they could have done a lot more sentimental things, maybe involving the children that Santa met a bit more, or maybe incorporating her own daughter into that a little bit more than was actually what was done. So I think it was an interesting trope, but I don't think the execution was that great. The other thing that I kind of didn't like about it... Well, there were two things. I have to say Becky as well as a character I really liked. But she had she had an issue with... Um, she struggled to spell. She struggled with reading and spelling. And this is explored in the film. And I kind of felt like on the one hand it was interesting, but it felt like a completely different narrative. Not It didn't feel like a subplot. It felt like I was watching two different films. And the whole story didn't weave everything together very well at all. So while it was interesting enough, it felt very separate and not like it was part of the actual main narrative. The other... I'm being very negative about this. I have to say I did enjoy it to a degree. and I would recommend it if you are a fan of Hallmark films. But if you're not really a fan of Hallmark films, then I would say this is probably one of their weaker films and it's not worth a watch. But if you do like Hallmark... The Christmas mood is still there. It does feel festive. It does feel Christmassy. But as I was about to say before I interrupted myself. They didn't nail the department store atmosphere. One of my favourite Christmas films is. Christmas 9 to 5. And that's set in a department store. And to me that is exemplary. When it comes to how to do. A department store at Christmas film and I just don't know why this one just didn't seem to deliver anything really and um, that one Christmas 9 to 5 is a lifetime film but I would have expected more from Hallmark in terms of the atmosphere and the set design and everything it's it felt quite lacking so I'm not really sure what my overall opinion is I can't really give it a rating Maybe if I had to, I'd give it a 3 out of 5. You know, it's very average. Not as good as I'd expected. It did not live up to my expectations. It had a lot of potential, but I feel like it focused on the wrong things. 